And welcome back, everyone. King's Road, the Wolf's Wolf's Wood. <laughs> no, come back, damn horse! Desert me here in the middle of nowhere. Seven hells. Such vulgar language. Oh, jeez, it's him. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Hide! <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. Oh, oh, back, 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 back. That bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, back, 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 back. holds few secrets. Alright, what did stay flayed man, The flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Damn it! What was that? Nothing. The Lord. This is a wolf. Listen. There. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. No, I don't hear anything. I, uh, I heard something. Stay still, because they have horses. They can outrun us. Oh damn. <laughs> Never mind. We've That's wasted right. enough time already. Yes, you have. You have better things to do. Better things to do with your time than punch me down. All right, I think we dodged a bullet there, guy, Garrett, whatever your name is. Problem is, I don't remember half these. Guys' names, except for Cersei, Tyrion, and Ramsay, and Marjorie. Oh yeah, that girl's name was Mira. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can take a gander as to what happened to this poor guy, especially looking at his uh, left arm there. Ugh, damn. Bloody hell. Huh. Alright, well, since that one was short, I'll just keep the video rolling. Keep the video rolling. Lord Ethan. Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Uh-huh. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. You'll get These there. were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Uh oh. Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Mace. 
Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Oh, a doomsayer. We all fucking know it! <sighs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I fear for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Then you admit the crime? Then you admit to the crime. In front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord hmm. Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Shake his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Hmm. Please, my lord. Send him to the wall. My family depends on me. Or take three fingers. Well, he did steal, so sorry. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. Kill him. The price for your crime. It's three of your fingers. No, oh, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. I will do it. I will carry out the sentence. He who deals the sentence must also swing the sword. This is injustice, my lord! She felt kind of bad doing that, but no. Oh well. no, I'm just kidding. That was actually kind of fun. You can't do that in Dragon Age. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It was my duty. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. Mm -hmm. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Nope, oh, I am the prize. Now oh, they're both I am the prize. Damn. So much politics. Let's see. Hello, little boy. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. 
something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good saws have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. Aww. I mean, I could never forget, but... I'm honored. You made your brother happy. Good. <laughs> yeah. You gotta swing harder yeah. than that, dude. Someday, I'll have a real one. Someday. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? Oh. A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. He's not our enemy. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. You tell him, kid. Okay, let's see. Is there anyone... Slash and parry. Slash and parry. Slash and parry. Uh, working my way down. All right, I guess I'll ask the man himself. Look at what is this? Oh, there it is. Sword up. Swing left. Parry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs Willen. could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Um, how are our defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power. Especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. Well, all right. So we got his admiration at least. Malcolm. Malcolm X. Ethan. Or should I say, Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Where are you going? Where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. True. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Royland, eh? He'd be a fine choice. Why are you so And sure? I trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not for the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. There was really no negotiating Ethan, with Ramsay. I need to talk to you. Yes. He's probably gonna bitch at me. How could you cut that man's fingers? You evil bastard! You promised you'd never Mother change. Told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did oh, she? Good news then. I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. Yeah, so did everybody else. Where you punished him? Yeah. How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. You think it's easy? I'm the third-born son. 
Father never prepared me for this. I'm doing the best I can. I know you are, Ethan. I know. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? I'm scared. Ethan, please. Yeah, who should be Tell sentinel? Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Ah. So Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Hmm. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. So many decisions. Look at food. Look at it. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Has anything gone missing? No. Doesn't look that way. Seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. Mm -hmm. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. I trust you to make the that decision. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Might as well, I mean, it's either... Uh, oh yeah, I need to talk to him. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Ask him about sentinel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. Why did you say Garrett away? Talking sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask. Why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. Well, it didn't. I only hope to give you an advantage. Well, I understand, and I regret though. any action you disapprove of. I understand. And you're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. You know, what I do like is that they're they're both tempting um, candidates. Tower, enter. Do I want to enter Doors this? Up. You can lift them, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what's in the tower. You can teleport. Like magic. Oh, why do they walk so... Awkward. Alright, is there a point to me being up here? Uh, I don't notice anything out of the ordinary. I guess it's, I guess it's just to overlook everything. I'm back, bitches. Oh, you... Meister Ortengern, whatever the hell your name is. Look, talk to the damn fool. Oh my god. Or look at him. Talk to him. Look at him. There. Meister. Lord. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. How much do we have? The lives of those you love. 
How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. I want to talk to you. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. To the small council. You know, I thought the king was the only one that had a small council, but I suppose it makes sense for each individual lord to have their own as well. I suppose it makes sense. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. The choice was clear. You're both Duncan, worthy. Royland. This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Duncan, just because we... I, I don't want to piss... Well, it's Ramsey, but... He might have the right words to say that might, uh, I don't know, appease. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. We need what? a politician. This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. Royland will remember that. I will not disappoint you, my lord. I should hope not. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. With no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We'll deal with him. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. <laughs> Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. What do you recommend? Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Um... We'll use diplomacy, we'll bargain. Ah, uh, yeah, I say we bargain. Maester Ortengren has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood. And we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, 
Making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? Hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. He will remember that. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. I and hear what you're all saying. The help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Damn. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But... I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Very well. Send Malcolm. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Lady Forrester will remember that. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a Forrester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. May doesn't mean she necessarily can. 